Hey guys, this is Matt with the Napa Hiker Channel. And what I thought I would do today is make a lightweight bivy bag out of a tarp. Now this idea isn't mine. It's actually uh, something that I saw with the Boy Scouts. My son is in a Boy Scout troop here locally. And uh, they go backpacking and camping regardless of the weather. And whether it's uh, pouring down snow or rain or sleet, they go. And one of the things that I noticed is a lot of the scouts, especially a lot of the senior scouts, the Eagle Scouts and, and whatnot, had uh, bivy bags that they made with duct tape and with, uh, with just old tarps. And I asked them, how well does it do? And they all said it works fantastic. They never get wet. There's no problems. Uh, it holds up. It's lightweight. It collapses down to something really small. So I thought what I would do is I would make one. I'm going to be using basically uh, three items. I'm going to be using the tarp that you see here. And also this is double-sided carpet tape in the box there. And uh, that's going to give me probably a lot better of a hold than duct tape would. I also have Gorilla Tape here if I want to finish it off in a couple areas with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have my sleep pad here as you can see and then I have my zero rated sleeping bag on top of it and this sleeping bag is like 200 bucks. I want to keep it in good shape so you know take care of your gear and it takes care of you. So that's why I'm doing this bivy bag. You also could use not only a tarp but you could also use uh, it's called Tyvek and Tyvek is something that uh, you see on houses. Basically when they're building a house they wrap it in this paper called Tyvek made by DuPont and if you want to go even lighter than tarp, Tyvek's the way to go. And I'll leave a link right here to a guy that uh, shows you how to make a bivy bag out of that as well. But for right now, I'm just going to be using a tarp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a piece that is big enough to wrap my sleeping bag and sleeping pad in, but not overly too big. I'm going to cut off the, the strip right here. The double folded with the, the grommets. I don't need that. And I'm going to cut it off right here at the end. Although at the top, I'm actually going to leave it on just because I'm not going to be taping that so I could get in, of course. And uh, I will kind of show you the process as I, as I get going. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it out and cut it. I won't show you that because Basically, you just fold it over and you get your size and then you cut where you want it and that's all there is to that. So uh, stay tuned and we'll show you step by step. Okay, I cut the tarp down to the size that I wanted it to be and uh, as you can tell, I took off the folded over sides that uh, had the seam on it with the grommets. I took those off. Uh, except I left the one at the top on because this is going to be uh, a nicer finish here. And what you're going to see now is I'm actually going to turn this over and I'm going to tape it in such a way that it's going to show the, the green side on the outside. What I actually want is the brown side to be showing. But when I'm finished, it'll all make sense. I'm going to basically do the work and then I'm going to turn it inside out so I have a, a cleaner seam here. So uh, let me show you what I'm going to do. Okay, I have it all folded over and basically what I want to do is I want to start with the double sided tape, but I don't want to start all the way at the top because then it's going to be hard to get in. I want to start basically, oh I'd say about a third of the way down on the underside. I'm going to start with my double sided tape and I'm going to put it all the way down to the feet area and all the way over and then I'm going to seal it. Now if you're wondering what I'm going to do with the top third, I don't have any with me to show you today, but basically I'm going to put Velcro there so I can Velcro it open and close. But I'm going to get the tape going. Okay, I got the double sided carpet tape mostly done. I actually, uh, it's not exactly 100% clean in these spots. It's not all the way to the edge, but that's okay because I'm going to be turning this inside out. This backing comes off and then you have the tape for the second side on the top. So this is what it looks like when you're basically almost done. I already have the bottom done. Uh, this is all done on this side. And uh, now for the closing part. I have it, as I mentioned, all the way going up and then I stop here. I'm sorry, this is the chair in my way. Um, and I left that open and I'm going to be Velcroing that so I could get in and out. 
So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to seal it up and then we'll get to the Gorilla Tape. All right, once you're done with the two-sided tape, you put on the Gorilla Tape. Basically, you just put it on the edge, fold it over so it's on both sides and that way it's sealed both uh, with the double-sided tape on the inside and then this on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'm going to show you how to finish your corners and then we're going to turn it inside out and see how it looks. Okay, all done with this portion. I put this tape right here where the fold is because uh, I didn't want that double-sided tape to, to rip loose and this is kind of the weak spot. So putting a piece of Gorilla Tape on the outside here kind of just reinforces it. But you can see I got the Gorilla Tape basically all around the edges now. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to fold this over and I'm just going to finish this edge. I'm just going to tape it right there and uh, then we're going to turn this inside out and uh, we'll have our final product. Uh, again, I'm not going to show you putting the Velcro here. It's going to be basically a double-sided Velcro and uh, that way I can seal it all the way up to right here, basically. I I'm not going to seal that in. I don't want to do that. Uh, just uh, basically to protect me from you know, moisture, you know, early morning dew, uh, possible rain that might get through my tarp or tent. And, uh, you know, but, uh, so anyway, let me, uh, finish this up for you. Okay. I turned it back, uh, inside out. So I have the, the brown side on the back. I also finished off the door right here. So this flips over. So let me, uh, straighten this thing out and I'll fill it up and show you what I got. Alrighty. And here's the final product. A bivy bag made out of a tarp. Now I want you to notice the seams there. See how they're inverted? That's because we did it with the other side facing out. So it's double taped. It's taped on the inside with uh, a double sided tape and then it's taped over again on the outside with uh, a Gorilla Tape. Now one thing I do want to tell you don't use cheap duct tape. Use Gorilla Tape. It is way, way better. But this right here, this will protect my investment, that sleeping bag, which is rather expensive. And it'll also uh, keep me extra dry and it's super lightweight. The last thing I want to show you is uh, how well this thing packs down and how small I can get it. Okay, here it is all folded up and I put a pair of scissors on top of it just so you could kind of get a reference on the size of it. Now, you might have noticed when you saw me with, uh, you know, my sleeping bag all stuffed in there and everything that I had a lot of extra room on either side. Um, that's by design. I can't actually sleep in a mummy bag. I kind of sprawl all over the place when I sleep. So... Uh, I like my sleeping bag roomy and I want my bivy bag to be roomy too. So uh, if you're going to make one and you have a mummy bag and you kind of just sleep on your back, you can make yours a lot smaller, a lot tighter, and it will roll up quite a bit smaller than this. But this is kind of how I want mine. But you know, experiment with however you want to do it and uh, let me know what you come up with and perhaps you have some ideas on how I could improve. Uh, this system. But anyway, so this is my project for tonight. Thanks for watching. God bless you and happy trails.